What's going on guys? It is Coasters and Things here today, and today I am going to be giving my full thoughts and analysis on the Six Flags 2020 announcements. This year I feel wasn't as good as 2019 was, but that being said, we still got some pretty cool stuff. So let's start with the main thing we got this year at Six Flags Great Adventure. That is Jersey Devil. This will be the second RMC Raptor coaster to come to the Six Flags chain, following Wonder Woman Golden Lasso coaster at Fiesta Texas. It will have been 14 years since Great Adventure got a new original coaster. That was El Toro, which many people consider one of the greatest coasters in the world. This is going to rival it in a lot of ways. And it will be the 14th coaster at the park. Great Adventure has an incredible top two now. This is by far the best new ride coming to a Six Flags Park next year. Moving on to Six Flags Over Texas, they're getting Aquaman Power Wave, which is a mock rides power splash that was supposed to go to the now canceled Six Flags Dubai. There is currently only one of these in existence, that is Pulsar at Wallaby, Belgium. There is another one set to open at Happy Valley Shenzhen in China, but this one will be the first one in North America. I do think this will be a good fit for Six Flags Over Texas, because even though there is another water coaster nearby, this one is different enough from Journey to Atlantis that you can make do. Six Flags Mexico and Six Flags America are both getting Zamperla Giant Discoveries. The one at Mexico will be called Crazanity, similar to the one at Magic Mountain, and the one at America will be called Harley Quinn Spin Sanity, similar to the one at New England. These are always very good flat rides, very enjoyable. Six Flags St. Louis and The Great Escape are both getting the same type of ride as well. They're getting these giant swinging propeller style rides, similar to the ones that you see in like Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and other popular tourist destinations. Now, I don't know the technical term for them, so I do apologize for that, but these are big GP pleasers. They are always very popular rides, and I've never seen one like this before, so that'll be cool to see them open. Six Flags New England and one of my home parks, Six Flags Over Georgia, are both getting Zamperla Endeavors. They're going to be named Supergirl Sky Flyer and Catwoman's Whip. They're basically the new generation of Huss Enterprises. We've seen them at other parks. They're real small but very fun flat rides. And Over George is also getting Poison Ivy Toxic Twister, which looks to be a standard scrambler ride. Fiesta Texas is getting Daredevil Dive Flying Machines, which is a Zamperla Air Race. A lot of Zamperla rides this year. This one looks to be a bit different from the other ones, though, because it actually takes you up as you rotate around. One of the more interesting additions. Now I'm just going to go through this one really quickly. La Ronde is getting Green Lantern from Magic Mountain and renaming it Viper, which is French for Viper. It will replace Super Menage, their old Vacoma coaster that is just closed. Lastly is Discovery Kingdom, getting Sidewinder Safari, which is a Zamperla spinning wild mouse style coaster. If you've ridden Raging Cajun at Six Flags America, then this is the exact same thing. Not much to say about it, honestly. So that's all the dry park additions, but we also have a couple of water park additions. Six Flags Great America is getting the world's tallest water coaster, Tsunami Surge. It looks like it will be manufactured by ProSlide. Water coasters are very popular water park rides. They're my favorite types of water slides, so it's great that Great America is getting that since they needed a water park edition anyway. So last but certainly not least, Six Flags Darien Lake is getting Wahoo Wave, a ProSlide Tornado Wave. Again, very popular water park rides. So that's all the rides coming to the Six Flags parks next year. I did exclude the exclusively water-based parks such as the Hurricane Harbors and Whitewater. This is just for the dry parks. Also, one quick note, no free spins were announced this year. Not a single one. No super loops either. 
I take that as a good thing because those rides are very cheap and not very enjoyable. This is a completely different Six Flags this year. But one thing I wanted to mention before I end this video is where are Magic Mountain and Frontier City? Magic Mountain is updating their seasonal events, which isn't surprising since West Coast Racers isn't even open yet at the time this video is being made. And Frontier City didn't get anything. If any park got screwed over badly, it was Frontier City. They deserved something, but it is what it is. Maybe next year. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Coasters and Things signing off.